exactly is an open string voicing? Well, it's just any chord on the guitar that utilizes at least one open string. These voicings just really open up worlds of sonic and harmonic possibilities that would otherwise be impossible or, or at least very difficult to play on the guitar. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Carl Kerfoot and this is my lesson series called Six Strings, Four Levels where we break down each concept into four color-coded difficulty levels. What I generally like to do is play through each level back to back so that you can kind of gauge where you might be at and see what interests you. You might be able to pick and choose little parts from each level and create your own version, what, whatever you like. So grab your guitar, get tuned up, and let's get started. So to understand what's going on with all these chords, you have to really know theory. But if you don't, I would definitely recommend just getting them under your fingers for now and taking the ignorance is bliss approach and just enjoy the beautiful sounds that you're creating. But if you do wanna dive in a little bit more, just start analyzing each chord and really break it down and look at the chord tones, the extensions that you can add, the color tones, anything that's not a root third or fifth are easily accessible in some cases and it changes as you move up and down the neck. 
So next up, let's talk about when to use these. I think that's a little bit of a tricky question because they've been used in many songs over the years across so many different styles of music from rock to pop to jazz to world music. But anyways, I think the point is just that you want to use these when you want to freshen things up a little bit. So for example, if you take a song like Come Rain or Come Shine, I'm gonna love you like nobody's loved you, come rain or come shine. Okay, well, what if we changed it to our E major nine chord? I'm gonna love you like nobody's loved you, come rain or come shine. And to wrap things up, just a couple final thoughts on some ways to make the exercise a little bit more interesting or challenging. The first would just be to maybe incorporate some strum patterns instead of just the long open chords. So you could like use your thumb, for example, and do something like. And the very last tip I'll give you is to just start experimenting with maybe arpeggiating the chords a little bit, picking patterns, maybe even finger style patterns, something like. All right, folks, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Remember that if you do download the backing track and upload your own version, I would love to see you get creative with it. Just be sure to tag me and use the hashtag six strings four levels. Also, please, if you have any questions, let me know down there and I will definitely respond. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Please like and subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.